All right, guys, here's my new vacuum setup. Well, I had this vacuum pump for a while, but I just got my Apion hoses. Blue vac. Been running probably about, I don't know, four minutes. Already down to 225 microns and dropping. Hooked it right up. My vacuum pump. I got this here in case I want to go with a 3.8. I'll put my vacuum uh, gauge here if I wanted to. Um, just put an adapter half by 3.8 and just hook the hoses right up to it. Boom. I also got the half inch hose and if I wanted to put a T I could do that. I got this from True, uh, True Tech Tools. Yeah, I love this blue back. I'm just pulling this tank down in case I need it for I'm doing any work for a transfer of refrigeration. Free on. Got my bag here. Put all my hoses in. The blue vac will go right there. Give myself a nice setup here for the mini splits. 516. This bag's nice. A little core remover. Still dropping. Now this setup's a cat's ass. This is the way to go. Way to go. I'm ready to rock and roll now. Platinum. I've been running JVs for a while now. I had the other ones. Um, but I bought this one new last year. I have it. And a couple other ones over there on the shelf. The other one's a sevens also, but this one's new. Changing my oil regularly. After every other vacuum, I changed the oil. Let's see what we got now. Still dropping. A lot better than pulling through quarter inch hoses and straight of valves, that's for sure. Put myself a little shut off there so I can shut it off. This will take, I think, 500 pounds of pressure, it said, but I got this little setup here, this little uh, connector. Basically, just a little shut off valve. In my garage, yes, all my old cars. 34 Ford, all steel. 33 Ford, all steel. Suicide doors. 55 Chevy. 57 Nomad. 67 Chevelle. I got my 34 Ford pickup truck. All hot rods, basically. My hobby. My garage here. It's 40 by 44. Got my AC up there. Just dumping it right in. Nice steel building. There's all my stuff here. Dehumidifiers, got radiant heat in the floor. I'll have to go over that sometime. The heating system. You can see it. It's just hanging on the wall in the back there. It's all radiant heat. I'll go over that sometime. This thing is basically heated up with like 110 degree water through the floor. Best heat going. Alright guys, thanks for watching.
call that good. 500 is what we shoot for. That's great. Here's my old pumps I used to use. JB7s. The problem with these is they leak around the gasket here for some reason. And the legs. The rubber legs, if you get any oil on them, they just deteriorate. But these are still probably good pumps. I just upgraded. I had these a long time. These treated me well for years. Yeah, so I got my hoses in the back here. Got my blue vac in this little case right here. Out of the way. I got some hoses in here. Well, like they're on. Six foot. Six foot yellow jacket with the shutoffs. I like one of those. I got a set of five footers in here. About 410A for the uh, Testo 550. Put them hoses right in there. Keep them out of the way. And inside this front pouch, basically what I got here is my setup for the blue vac. I look at that little shut off, so I'm not putting a lot of pressure against that vacuum gauge. I put little plugs in the end. Put that right in there. Same thing with the hoses. I plug them. Keep all the schmag out of there. I have to get this uh, 5 sixteenths one. This is for the mini splits. These so Appions work great. I did try them as straighter removers, and they do work fine. These, um, I know Fritz had a video on them where there was a problem with them, but they must have corrected it because these things work great. So I got these two here to pull the straighters out and put my Appion hoses on there. Put them right in the front bag. I got this one as a this um, yellow jacket. It works okay. It's not as good as the Appions. I just got a C and D one as a backup that I'll be using just for replacing Schraders. I found that there was a lot of problem with Schraders leaking. Yeah, but this works out great. Put it right in the backpack like this. Hang on a second. Let me put this hose back. show you where I put it in my truck. <coughs> Just put it right up here out of the way. It's out of the way. Alright, just put these cups on here for these spear cans. And you always got two full and two empty. You know, I got my uh, my recovery tanks here, 410A. 22. I'm going to use that other one and I'm going to hook it on over here. So I'm doing a change out or something. If you got a long run sometimes on these refrigerant lines, you can't put it all in a compressor. It won't pull in. So I use that tank. Actually, I like to get a 30 pounder instead of this 50. But I just pulled this down to a good vacuum just to try out my new stuff. And this fits in there. This fits in there great out of the way off the floor. I don't like having stuff. It was good about this truck because you can walk right in here. Put it right up there out of the way. You know, nothing on the floor. Walk right in here. Just be taking this. I'm gonna be doing a compressor change. Or I gotta change a coil. And I gotta pull the refrigerant into the condensing unit, and it's got a half inch line, half inch OD on a liquid line because it's such a long run. So I don't think that compressor is gonna take it all. A little two and a half ton or something. So I'll probably need that tank, dump some of the refrigerant in there. This 22 is getting expensive, we can't be wasting it.